Hello and welcome to this Tech Talk brought to you from the Albert Lee Public Library. Today I am going to go over um, information about our virtual programs for the summer. So due to the current situation, all of our programming for the summer for both kids and adults is going to be virtual. We are going to be using two main platforms, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, and there's a little bit of differences um, between them. So I'm going to explain that, show you how to get registered for the events you need to get registered for. So right now you're looking at our main, the main page of our library website, which is www.alplonline.org. So this is our main page. Um, when you look at it, it may look a little different if we've changed our sliders. Um, but right now, this is the basics of the page. So you'll see in our menu at the top, we've got a couple different tabs. The best place to find out about our virtual programs that we have going on is our calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that so that we can you can see what it looks like. So here um, you'll see our calendar. And this is going to show you every event that we have coming up. Um, the events are color coded, so story times, music and movement, anything in that kind of category is going to be yellow. Um, other children's and events, um, and event, some family events as well, are going to be your blue. And then we've got this uh, darker green for teen events, and then a brighter green for adult events. And then we do um, technology events, um, digital literacy events in this orange, where you'll see the tech talks, which is what I'm doing today. Um, so the calendar, once you get the color coding, is pretty straightforward. It's going to show you what we have going on. So for instance, you're going to look at the 8th, and it's going to show you in red that our summer reading program begins. So summer reading program begins on the 8th. So if you haven't signed up, get signed up. There's information on our website about how to do that. And then we've got two programs. So we've got our story time at 1030 and family trivia night at 6. So if you click on the event you're interested in, it's going to bring you up a page with some more information. So um, this is story time. It's telling me the description of the event. And then right after the description, it's going to tell me um, where I can view the story times. So all of our story times and some of our other events are going to be on our YouTube channel. So when that says it's going to be on our YouTube channel, it means you do not have to register for the event. You just have to tune into our YouTube channel at the time that it's going to air and you will see the event live. Most of our events will not be able to be um, saved as video, so you're going to want to make sure to tune in if you can at, at those times. Um, so I can go ahead and click right on this link for the YouTube channel. It'll bring me up to um, Albert Lee Pub Lib, which is our YouTube handle. And what you'll see is um, the day of the event, you'll see a premiere, a little spot here that says the title of the event and it's listed as a premiere. So that means that at uh, 1030, we're gonna premiere our story time video. And with all the events on YouTube that we put up, when you watch it live, at the time that it's listed, you'll be able to make comments. We'll be putting in some comments. Um, if You can ask questions and we'll respond to questions. So there's a little bit of interaction there. Um, you don't need an account to, to watch YouTube videos. If you have a Gmail account, you already have a YouTube account, but you don't need to create an account to watch these. So that's the great thing about using YouTube for these events. Um, if you have an account, you can go ahead and, and find our channel on YouTube and subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications when we go live. Um, but you don't have to do that. Just a little tip to help you keep track of when things are going to air. So I'm going to go back here. Um, and then I'm going to go out of story time. So we looked at story time. It's very clear right here. It's on our YouTube channel. Click on the link. You'll be brought right to YouTube. If I go back to the calendar, um, the next program we have listed for um, the 8th is our Family Trivia Night. So if I click on Family Trivia Night, again, I'm going to get an explanation of the event. Um, and then 
So a little bit of more information. So this is actually for adults and children. So it's for families to do together. And it's telling me it's on Zoom. So any program that's on Zoom requires registration. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, um, we're limited in how many people can participate on Zoom events. So registration will be limited. So if you're really interested in an event, we recommend go ahead and register. And also to keep Zooms as safe as possible for our patrons. So um, when you register for an event, um, I'll show you right here, there's a little register button. It tells you how many seats are available. I'm gonna go ahead and click register. And you can fill out this here. So we're gonna ask a name, uh, first and last name. If you're registering for a family event, go ahead and put any one in your family um, on the registration. If you're registering um, for, like, for instance, Book Pals, where it's gonna be your child doing, um, participating mainly in the event, please put their full name. Um, and then we're gonna require an email address and a phone number just in case anything happens with the event. And you only need to register once per family. So keep that in mind. Um, so if you, if you have four people in your family that wanna participate in family trivia night, only register once, because that's one slot, one family, one link that we're gonna send out. Um, and then we require that whoever's registering for the program um, grant permission that um, their children may potentially be seen or heard on a webcam over the internet. Um, just so you're aware that this is the platform that we're using. Once you register, your spot will be saved. A few days before the event, you're gonna get an email from the library that's going to give you the link for the Zoom meeting. And so this is um, one way that we try to keep our, that we keep our Zoom events secure is that you get a, the meeting link and ID and password. And so that it's only sent to people that are registered for our programs. And so that way no one else has access to the meeting link. Please don't share the meeting link with other families. It's unique to, to individuals. And again, we have um, limited slots. So if you can't make it, if you realize you can't make it, um, you can go into your email and cancel the event, or you can give us a call or respond to that email and, and let us know you're not gonna be able to make it so that if we have a waiting list, we can go ahead and let someone in and give them the link. So that's all you have to do to register an event. Put in the required information that's in there, um, grant permission, if it's a Zoom program, you're done. Um, so, so those are the two main platforms we're gonna be using, the YouTube, which does not require registration, and Zoom, which does. Um, so everything kind of varies depending on the platform that we're using. We're trying to do as many programs as we can on YouTube because it's open to as many people who can view the event at the time. So anything that doesn't require direct interaction, we're gonna be using YouTube for. Uh, things that are a little more interactive for children's programs at least, so Family Trivia Night, Book Pals, those are gonna be using Zoom to allow for that um, interaction between, uh, between the children and then for Family Trivia Night, interaction between um, us and, and the people who are doing the trivia. So for adult events, um, everything requires registration because everything is gonna be on Zoom, except for the Tech Talks, which are on YouTube. So those are open. Um, and then we have a few special events going on and we may add a few more in the, um, as the summer goes on and things come up. So for instance, our Land of 10,000 Tunes event, which is a legacy event um, sponsored by our regional library system, that is gonna be on YouTube. And so, Always click on the event if you're interested in it. Read the description. This one says it's gonna be pre presented live virtually on YouTube, and then there's gonna be a link on there. So it's either gonna link you to our YouTube channel or it'll link you to the YouTube that the performer set up. So um, just keep that in mind that most things are gonna be on our YouTube channel, but not everything will be. So you'll definitely wanna start on our calendar, come on here, click on the link and um, it'll take you to where you need to go. Um, so, so that's kind of the basics of the calendar, registering for events. Um, 
signing up again once you register for an event you will get the link for the meeting a few days before the event so if you register for an event that's in three weeks a couple days before the event look out for that email that will have the meeting link for you um, for adult events for instance i'll bring up our craft and connect so it's kind of open crafting same thing you get an explanation it's going to be on zoom it tells you there's a register button go ahead click on register fill out your name email phone number and you're good to go. Um, one thing about the Zoom events is that you can join by telephone if you would like. So for instance, for Family Trivia Night, if maybe you don't have that great of an inter internet connection, you don't have internet at all at your house, you use it somewhere else, you can join and we'll send you a phone number, the meeting ID and the password that you can call into. Just know that uh, the phone numbers are long distance and so any kind of long distance charges will apply if you have those on your um, phone plan. So just keep that in mind. It is an option to call into a, to, um, to Zoom, but you don't necessarily, um, you know, you may not want to if you're going to have long distance charges. Um, another thing to keep in mind that all of our Zoom programs, the camera is not required. So if you don't have a webcam at home on your computer or a tablet, um, or you don't want to use your camera, you don't need to use the camera. You can use the audio, you can join in the programs and just type in the chat box. That's totally fine. Um, especially some of our family programs, our Thursday special event programs. You know, you don't need your camera. You're going to be muted the whole time. It's just to enjoy the show and have a little bit more interaction than what YouTube um, allows for. So we've tried to keep our programs pretty much the same. You know, some changes we aren't able to do some programs that are more in-person programs, but we've kept the times the same um, as to what they were. So all our programs for families on Thursdays are gonna be at 2 p.m. like they usually are at the library, just one performance at 2 p.m., not two and three, because we don't have to worry so much about the crowds. And then um, story times, music and movement are at the same time. So we've tried to keep everything kind of consistent for you um, to make it easy. And then I just wanna show you uh, one other thing to keep in mind. If you're looking for kind of an overview of all the programs that we have to offer in a different format than the calendar, that might be a little bit easier to read all at once. If you go to the children's tab and you go to programs and events, um, you'll see a listing of our programs broken down by kind of category. So we've got some our early lit literacy programs. You'll see here you've got story time and music and movement. And you get the same description that's on the calendar, and then you also have the link to where it's going to air. So if it's on YouTube, I could click right on here and get to the YouTube channel. Um, if I scroll down, we've got Steam programs, uh, Book Pals. If it's a registration Zoom, there'll be a link to take you to the calendar listing to register. So some people might prefer this format to look at programs with some pictures. It's a little bit um, easier to read for some people. Um, and then we've got some special events. And as as we get confirmations of how programs are going to work and the platforms that are especially our speakers are using, um, we're going to be adding a few more programs to this. So um, just keep up to date. Uh, check the calendar often if you're wondering what we've got going on. And we also have a page for adults. So if you're looking for adult events, you can go under adults, adult programs and events and look at our special events. Um, special events and our regular programs with uh, links to how to register or where to view them. So again, our website, uh, alplonline.org, head over to this calendars tab, or you can head down to the children's and programs and events or adults and adult programs and events to see what we've got going on. And we hope to see you in a program, um, virtual program this summer. Thanks.